<clears throat> hello, hello. Ooh. I'm going to show you today. So let me just find me on my laptop. Yes, I know. I know it's exciting, isn't it? You're going to be a star. <laughs> Let me just turn my laptop down. Hi, ladies. <laughs> I'm just showing you my little puppy. <laughs> am, I, am I a few minutes late? Oh, not really. There was a bit of a rush this morning. This little one went and had her Christmas groom. And she's got a little Christmas ribbon in her hair. <laughs> in her ear. <laughs> she's the love of my life <laughs> so I thought I'd show you my beautiful puppy <laughs> okay you can hop down and go on your pillow <laughs> um, <clears throat> I hope everyone's well this morning and you've got your cuppa I got my Christmas mug out of the um, buffet in the lounge room so time to break out the Christmas mug hi Anna Louise <laughs> How are you this morning? I'll just make sure my laptop's right and I can see everything. Very cute. She's a gorgeous girl. <laughs> okay, so today I'm not doing Christmas. I thought I'm done and dusted with Christmas cards for now, for this year. Um, I'm going to start playing with things from the new catalogue, which everybody should have by now. I posted out a whole lot of them on uh, Monday I think it was so that's the new catalogue it seems a silly rule when I can post them out to you but I can't show you the inside until they go like it goes live but anyway that's the rule so there's a stamp set in here in that catalogue called paradise are you on holidays now oh, I got three more work days to go <laughs> um it's like a finish line and I don't know if I'm going to get there, <laughs> like in a running race, but I guess I will. <laughs> um, that's probably why I'm playing with this one because it seems all holiday and tropical and just want to go and lie on a beach somewhere with palm trees. So this one's called Paradise Palms. It's in the new mini catalogue that comes out in January and it's got dyes to match. So I thought I had a little play with it yesterday afternoon when I got home from work and I made this card. My water splatters are a bit a bit too much, I think, on that card. I got a bit carried away. They're a bit big bigger blobs than I wanted. And I made this card. So I thought we'd recreate this card this morning. So I shall put the phone up into the holder and we can get started so I hope I don't make you feel sick as I do this but I'll just get that there and I'll flip it round there we go <clears throat> I'll just move a couple of things out of the way make sure we're in view Yep, that looks pretty good. I don't think I need to zoom. I'll just make sure it's straight. <laughs> that looks pretty good. So, yes, these are the two cards that I made after work yesterday. I thought I wanted to have a play with this stamp set <clears throat> and the dies. So, I got inspiration off Pinterest, so I... Didn't really case exactly, but I, that's where I got the inspiration from. <clears throat> and I like, I want to do a bit more with that. I've got some other stamp sets here. This one looks really nice. I want to have a play with that today. Um, what else have we got? This one. I've got a few from the pre-order, although I couldn't get everything. So everything I wanted. I've got this beautiful background stamp. I can see lots of things with that. Emboss resist, blending brush, lots of things. Um, I got this one because it matches the deer punch that's in the Christmas catalogue and it's cutesy. I don't have a lot of kids, kids stamp sets. 
and I got the daffodil daydream as well and the dies to match that so I think there's a lot of dies in this set <clears throat> I think it's a bit like the pansy set I never got the pansy set because the dies looked scary <laughs> so yeah that, that looks a bit scary too but I'll have a play with it at some point and it won't be as scary <laughs> so um and I've got one celebration stamp set the otters and I've got some celebration paper that looks really nice I haven't opened it yet um so it's sort of all swirly beautiful paper Oh, yummy. <laughs> Only a crafter would describe paper as yummy. <laughs> so I've got those things. Um, I've got some mother of pearl paper, which I want to play with as well. That doesn't really look like much. But I used to do a mother of pearl technique with the champagne shimmer mist. And I got this supple shimmer. So there's a pinky one in there and... That's meant to be blue, but it's, I suppose it is blue. Anyway, they're, they're going to be fun to play with in my holidays. Can't wait. <laughs> so I'll just pop those all out of the way. Can't wait. That's my next one to play with. So having said all that, <laughs> um, so we'll put this one aside. And I'm going to get my embossing machine, emboss cut machine, because I'm going, I don't actually need the dies for this um, card. That was for the other card I made. So I'll get my embossing machine out. Because I want to cut a stitched square, or a stitched rectangle, I should say. I imagine there's lots of people at the shops I went over there this morning very early after I dropped Rosie off for grooming and um, bought one more or two more presents that I sort of thought of afterwards <laughs> after I thought I'd finished, but that's okay. Now, if you're in uh, die cutting um, straight edges, if you put them in straight like that, your machine's going to make a clunk. And you'll think you've broken your machine so it's best to put them at an angle and you won't get as big a clunking noise <clears throat> um, when you wind it through so I'm pretty sure that's centered I'm just using my eyeball so yeah I dropped Rosie off to the groomer at 8 a.m. And Kmart opened at 8, so I thought that works. And um, so I went straight to Kmart and bought this little, a little book for a little boy. Um, Olivia's boyfriend, his little boy Lockie, we're going to see him on Boxing Day, so I didn't want to have nothing for him. So I got him this little book. And then I went and had some breakfast because <laughs> I was fading. And then I went, posted the work mail, went to the bank and came back, got Rosie <laughs> and came home. So that was the number four stitched rectangle die. I count from the outside in. So put that there this would also this card would also work with circles or ovals whatever you might have so let's sit back down and have a little look say hi if you're watching um okay so that's the, these are the two cards that i made last night after work so this is the one we're going to make today. So I'll put this one over here. 
and I just am using Paradise Palms, which is a new set that's coming in the, the new um, mini catalogue in January. So I've changed the colours around. This one's got a black base with a crumb cake layer. This time I'm doing crumb cake base with a black layer. Because I can. <clears throat> oh, I know what else I got whilst I was over at the shops. I got a book voucher from QBD Bookshop for Mark's mum. She's 92, 93 in January. So hard to buy for that age bracket. <laughs> She's still in her own home. And um, still looks after herself, <laughs> which is amazing. And that's my washing washing machine singing to me so we can just wait okay so this is how it's going to look but this piece is going to go underneath with the seam so and I just thought I'd reverse the card base in the first layer so I shall put that aside and I will get my scrap paper out maybe I shall get another piece out this one's better <clears throat> and the colors I used are garden green Crumb cake, soft suede, uh, balmy blue, Bermuda Bay. A lot of colours. Okay, so first of all, we're going to use garden green. And garden green is not, this is not straight, is it? Let me just see. Did that fix it? That's a bit better. I don't like crooked. <laughs> crooked does my head. Okay, so this piece that came out of there, you can just put that to one side and use for another card. And we're going to open up the garden green and we'll get some blocks out. And that'll do for the moment. And I'm going to use this one. So there's two small, there's two sizes in the palm branch, in the palm branches, and I'm going to use a smaller one. And I'm just going to create a border. So just a border around on our frame. It was a great time to be at the shops this morning at 8 o'clock or just after. Nobody was there. <laughs> so, <clears throat> um, I didn't stay too long. Got in, got out. Okay, so that's the border of our frame done. <clears throat> so that's going to see comments today I wonder why oh there we go I can see them now <laughs> thanks Anna Louise it was busy last night was it you got that tip too Linda woohoo <laughs> thanks Linda <laughs> um so that's what that's going to look like but we're going to have our scene in the middle hi Lorraine um so We'll do that first, and for that we're going to use a piece, a post-it note. <clears throat> What's that? I don't like it. There we go. Um, so we're going to use a post-it note, so I'm just going to work out where I want my horizon to be, and I want my horizon to be straight. <laughs> on the sample I did last night my horizon wasn't straight and I even, hadn't even had anything to drink <laughs> except water I know it's a shock <laughs> okay and whilst I'm talking about drinking I'm gonna have a sip of my coffee <laughs> don't know how to get it so that I can see the comments but also see what I'm doing 
anyway if i miss a comment i'll go back and see you later hmm coffee one of the loves of my life rosie as you saw earlier is the other okay so we're going to get our blue brush out now i'm going to just clean it on my microfiber cloth <clears throat> you can wash them i don't do that because this works microfiber cloth works okay so i'm just going to get some bermuda bay on my blending brush and just start creating the horizon and the ocean We just need the weather to get better and then we can go to the beach and sit on the beach under a palm tree or an umbrella <laughs> and enjoy. Little Rosie loves the beach. I think she thinks she's a big Alsatian at the beach. She barks at all the other bigger dogs and then tears back to us under the beach umbrella. <laughs> so she's, she's not really that brave. <laughs> at all <laughs> okay <clears throat> I think that's enough and then I can do some sand because we don't want the water the same colour right up to the sand so I'll close that up and I shall get my browns out and just make sure it's yeah, it doesn't have like early espresso on it so this is crumb cake so I just come up from the base <clears throat> I think we're just going to go to Bunnings on the weekend and get Mark's mum a nice pot plant for her balcony. And then we're done. All done, done, done. Yay. The elderly mums are so hard to buy for. They don't need anything. <laughs> but anyway, I've got my mum some nice uh, melting moment biscuits from Myers. And some chocolate coated sultanas because that's all she needs. I think I'd like it a little bit darker down the bottom. So. Oh, that tragedy in Tasmania, that really upset me. I feel for those families. It's always a tragedy right near Christmas. I don't know what it is. I think that's all right. Maybe a bit more over here. It's funny when you're doing a background, like blending for a background scene, you're sort of not sure how it's going to work out until it's done and you think, oh, okay, that worked okay. <laughs> so I shall get my microfiber cloth back in and I'll clean my blue brush off because I want to use balmy blue which is lighter than the Bermuda Bay so I'll take off my horizon and I think that's pretty straight <laughs> let's hope <laughs> sorry I just brought my head in that was a bit ridiculous really wasn't it <laughs> okay so this is balmy blue and because it's a lighter blue it doesn't matter if I go over the horizon line I know what else I'll have to do before Christmas <coughs> excuse me <coughs> I have to make my son's Christmas cake He has loved Christmas cake since he was a little boy, which is most unusual because most kids don't like Christmas cake. But he'd eat a whole Christmas cake in a sitting if I, when he was little, if I'd let him, which <laughs> wouldn't have been very conducive to a happy tummy. 
<laughs> so I normally make him a little Christmas cake each year. When I say little, it's the size of this scrap paper. <laughs> it's my littlest square cake tin. So, is that alright for Sky? No, we could do some birds in the sky, but that would come from another set. But that's enough. That's something we could do. I think that's all right. Okay, so we can put those on those colours all away over there. Oh no, I still need the the green. Okay. So now let me get my chamois and clean this off. And I'll need a longer for my palm trees. Now I'm going to use soft suede, but I'm going to stamp it off. So that, to me, that's the base. But I might make my, I don't want my, see how tall that would make my tree? And I don't know if that's alright. I guess it is. I don't like how this tree is sort of sitting, looks like it's in the water. I want to make the, so I'm stamping it off because that's quite dark. So if I do that, I'll clean that one off. put that back in there and if I get my bendy tree <laughs> let me see if there's any comments still got your 13 year old nephew to buy for oh that's a terribly awkward age <coughs> rebel sport <laughs> um Depends on what he's into. EB games. <laughs> um, now if I, hmm, I think I'm going to make this one a bit shorter. I think. I'm still practicing scenery cards. I'm not real crash hot at them. So if I do... That'll do my... um. Frond will cover that up. <clears throat> so scenery cards are one of those cards um, that will, two cards will never look exactly the same. They'll look very close, but not exact. So I shall switchy poo that over. Now we don't want soft suede. We want garden green. So this is the big fronds. You sort of don't think there's much difference, but there is, is really. Okay, so, and if you put it to the to there, you're going to have a gap to your fronds. So you're going to have to either use your um, stamparatus or try and eyeball it up to where the center of the branches are. So I'm going to eyeball it and see how we go. Not bad. I might do two big fronds actually. So, not bad. <laughs> Happy. <laughs> At least they're not sort of look like they're sitting on top of the water, like on the horizon line. So, I shall get rid of that. Now, this one I made a retirement card. <laughs> probably because I was just home from work last night and I was just thinking <laughs> retirement can't come quick enough <laughs> but <laughs> this time we're going to make it a happy birthday card now, so which I shall do in soft suede so I'll just make sure yeah, I seem to have mounted that not too badly. You should never mount stamps when you're tired. Even though I have this new fantastic way, thanks to Linda. 
um, of mounting them, I can still sometimes just not get them quite right. See, that's a bit crooked. But you know what? You're on holidays. Who cares? <laughs> You're under under a palm tree. <laughs> it doesn't matter. Okay, so. I put some little coconuts there, but I don't think I like them. So I'm not going to do that again. So I shall bring my card base back in and put these away. And what I'm going to do, I'll get the card base base <laughs> out of the way. What I'm going to do is I'm going to line that up like that. Get my pencil. And I'm just actually a pencil. Um, yeah, your pencil work. And just put a line underneath. I could see it better on the crumb cake. <laughs> I know, I can see that. And then I'm going to, because that's the size of the frame so i know if i have under there i'm not going to be in the frame so i'll just use this yeah so boom that should be right a bit annoyed my happy birthday is a bit crooked not to worry <laughs> so <coughs> um that's gonna go there and then that will go on top like so so i shall put my glue on this part first Before that gets too messy, I shall grab a tissue and get rid of that. Oh, it's so humid today. I've just opened my window a little bit more and it's lovely. So this is going to have like a little half centimetre border all the way around. I think that's pretty good. With the glue, you can sort of slide it down and make sure it's where you want it. I'll just see. I've got something under here. Oh, no, that's just on the edge. Go away. <clears throat> so that's good. And then I'm just going to... Oh, I think I'll dimension all it. Yes, I did put dimensions on that one to the base. So as I said, I got inspiration from Pinterest. Just type in um, palm tree cards or paradise palms. There's not a lot up there for this particular stamp set yet. Um, but if you type in palm tree cards, previous stamp sets that have had palm trees come up. And the one I saw had an oval frame and that was really nice too. Um, but I don't have any ovals, oval dies. Oh, it's hard to get this centered when I can't really bring my head in. There we go. Yay. <laughs> um, so I don't have any oval dies. Um, I thought the circle dies might work, but I just thought, oh, you lose too much of the seam if I use the circle dies. So I went with the stitched rectangles. So I haven't decorated the inside of this one yet. <laughs> so let's do that now. Actually, we'll do both now. Um, <clears throat> so they've got this little one. And I don't know how many of you have the markers, the Stampin' Up! markers. I'll just grab mine. These, This is the Many Marvellous Markers. So I had a half price. Um, product that I could order so I ordered these I had original markers from when I first joined 13 years ago and some of those were getting a bit sad 
So I bought these and you can buy them individually or in this box set. And these are great. They're different to the blends. These aren't alcohol based, but they are good for what we're going to do now. So we're going to, that's shaded spruce. I don't want that. I want garden green. Yes. And early espresso. I don't want early espresso. I want soft suede. Yes. Um, with the cling stamps, the rubber stamps, the, this works really well. So you colour your stamp with your marker. So they don't work. They work kind of on the photopolymer stamps, stamps, but not nearly as well as on the rubber stamps. And then colour your palms. Um, there we go and then very technical you huff on it just to reactivate the ink and you have your palm trees so we'll do that again for the other insert so it's just another way of stamping using um, colouring tools to stamp with and you can do this on any rubber stamps as I said it doesn't work as well on the photopolymer I haven't had success at all with it on photopolymer stamps but you must remember to huff <laughs> there we go so we can put that aside and I might get my blue, my blue brush, blending brush and just put a bit of blue behind it. And where's my brown for the sand? Just a little tiny bit of shading, very tiny. <laughs> In fact, so tiny I can't see it. See that smudged my ink. So you should wait for it to dry. Not like me. Okay, so we shall put this into blue blue inside. Ooh, mostly sunny weekend, I just heard the radio say, so that's good. Oh, far out, Brussels sprout. <laughs> There we go. There we go. I shall put this one. No, I won't. I'll redo that one. It's got a blob. <laughs> <clears throat> so that was my sample card. That's my next card. I'm a bit, a bit cross. My happy birthday is a bit wobbly. <laughs> And where's my other card that we, I put it in, a, oh there it is, it's hidden. And that was my other card I played with last night um, with this set. So that's one of the new sets that is coming in January. Um, I'm going to play with a few more. I'm, I'm off from next Wednesday to the 10th of January so I'm really happy about that nice break um, so I'm gonna have lots of time to play and read and maybe go to the beach <laughs> um, so I hope everyone has a really lovely Christmas I'm not gonna do one next Monday because that will be Boxing Day 
Oh, not Monday. Oh, God help us. Friday. <laughs> I'm not going to do it next Friday because that will be New Year's Eve. Um, but I'll come back the week after that. So, no. Oh, look, I'm all over the shop. Next Friday is Christmas Eve. I'm not going to do one that day, but I might do one on New Year's Eve. Um, so I'll miss a week. <laughs> I think I need to. I'm, I'm, I'm a bit muddled in the head, aren't I? <laughs> um, so I hope. <laughs> Thanks, Anna Louise. I'm glad you like it. Cross that's crooked. Anyway, doesn't matter. Um, yeah, so I'll miss next week being Christmas Eve and I'll be back on New Year's Eve for my next Facebook Live. So have a lovely Christmas, everybody. I've still got one Make It Monday on Monday the 20th to go. Um, so, yeah, and if I don't see you there, have a lovely Christmas and I'll catch up with you around New Year or in the New Year. Thanks for watching. Bye.